Welcome to June's Lico Challenge. Today's problem is minimum number of fueling, refueling stops. A car travels from a starting position to a destination which is target miles east of the starting position. Along the way there are gas stations. Each station represents a gas station that is um, I have zero miles east of the starting position so that's basically the distance that it is from the starting and has station I one liters of gas. So some sort of amount of gas. Now the car starts with an infinite tank of gas, uh, which initially has a starting fuel liters of fuel in it. It uses one liter of gas per one mile that it drives. Now when the car reaches a gas station, it may stop and refuel, transferring all the gas from the station into the car. What is the least number of refueling stops the car must make in order to reach its des destination? So if it cannot reach the destination, return negative one. Note that if the car reaches a gas station with zero fuel left, the car can still refuel there, so it's inclusive. If the car reaches destination with zero fuel left, it is still considered to have arrived. So great. Um, okay, so we have some stations. Let's just look at this example here. Uh, we have a bunch of stations situa situated at 10 miles uh, from the starting, 20 miles starting, it's all in order, 30 miles to 60 miles, right? And each mile that we travel, we're going to use some amount of gas. Now, we start with some fuel, and as we move through our stations, uh, if we run out of gas, we need to pick up some, and we want to try to minimize the number of stops that we take. So initially, we might think we could kind of do a brute force thing here and uh, just go through every single station, uh, count it as one stop, and put that tuple into like a queue and go as far as you can. And uh, then beginning at like when we had one stop, we could uh, continue that queue on, try to go as far as we can and just continue on to see what the very minimum number of stops is, right? We can do, we can do that, uh, but that's gonna become an N squared solution. An easier way would be to think greedily. What, just intuitively, what are we trying to do here? We're trying to start at um, the zero, right? So we start at zero here. And we're just going to try to travel as far as we can without stopping at any station. Like, that's what we're trying to do. Now, when we find out, okay, we've run out of gas, we, like, say we've kept this here with this station, we can reach 10. So we say, okay, let's continue. But now when we reach 20, we're out of gas, right? So what would we, could, if we could reverse that and look back ahead, like, what would we have wanted to have done? Well, obviously, we should have picked up gas, but which station? If you think about it, the station that we would have wanted to pick up gas at is the one with the maximum amount of tank. Like, no matter which station we um, hit, if we were able to reach here, if we should be able to reach here, we should get the one that has the maximum one. Doesn't matter how far behind it is. It's just that uh, this up up to this station we we're able to get here. So wherever these stations are from before, we want to get the maximum one. So we can use a heap to keep track of that. Now. Uh, all we need to do then is pop off the maximum gas tank from our heap, add that to our fuel tank, and just continue on forward. We'll add one stop to our algorithm and just see how far we can get. If we can get to the very end, we should have the minimum number of stops that we could have taken. All right, so we need a couple things here. We need a heap that's going to keep track of all the previous amount of tanks that we've seen. We're going to need our output, which is going to be zero. And we also need a previous, but I'll explain later why. All right, so for, let's see, distance and amount of gas in stations. And let's keep track of the fuel we have. We start with fuel, we'll just call, call this fuel, just to make it a little easier. And that's gonna be start fuel. Okay, so we have a target that we're trying to hit. And I think we're actually gonna have to add the target as well here. Uh, target's just gonna be, it's gonna be another list. Target with zero, because there's no gas here at the end. Okay, so uh, the first thing we wanna check to see is at this distance, we would have how much fuel left, right? So at this distance, we would have fuel um, minus equal amount of distance. But keep in mind, it's actually not at this point gonna be the distance, it's gonna be a distance from the last station that we've seen um, because we're trying to we're checking every single station right and to store that we're just going to store the previous one here we'll say 
um, this distance here minus the previous, and that's going to give us the total distance from our last station. And each time we do this, we're going to set previous to now equal the distance ahead. All right, so if fuel, or yeah, if fuel is less than zero, that means we should have picked up some amount of gas from before, right? So to do that, I'm going to just do a heat pop from our heap. And since heaps in Python are a min heap, I'm going to have to make this a, uh, I'm going to have to flip it to be negative. And I'm going to, so you go to fuel plus or equal um, negative heat pop. And we have to update our answer output by one each time we do this. Okay, so it's actually not if, it's going to be while, right? While fuel and while there's a heap. So while heap and fuel is less or equal to zero, we're going to try to add as much gas, the biggest gas that we had from before to see if we could have gotten here. Okay, now if at this point, let's say we've exhausted our Q or our heap and fuel is still less than zero, well, then we have to return negative one because we can't even reach here no matter what we do. Uh, finally, we want to add back into our heap, heap push into our heap, the amount of gas here, but make sure to make that a negative because we want this to be a max heap. Okay, so after that, just store that previous distance and just return our output. So let's make sure this works. Okay, that's not a good example. So let's see if I can try this example here and see if this works. And stations. Okay, looks like it's working. Submit it. And accepted. So time complexity wise, we use n log n because it's going to be O of n, and then because of this heap, it's going to be log n. So n log n, and we also use O of n space because of our heap. And that would be it. Uh, you can certainly do the other method where uh, you basically check every single, like how far distance you can go, kind of is like in a nested uh, loop, to adding it back to a queue. But uh, this works a lot better, and it's obviously more efficient. So we'll end it here. Thanks for watching my channel. Remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.